Hello everyone, Ed from Canva here, welcoming you back to another Canva tutorial. In this one, I'll be showing you how to create a quick and easy pocket presentation for mobile using Canva's mobile first presentation templates. They're a super efficient way to pitch your business on the go, send a potential clients digitally, or even something to link to in your social media ads. I've got a cool example installed for you all, so let's stop into Canva and run through it. So we're in Canva in a blank design with some info belonging to the brand we're working with, Day Design. I've got the logo here, the fonts that the brand uses over here and the information of the brand here, which is the phone number, email, and a link to the app in the app store for this brand. We've also got the app icon for Day Design's app in the Apple App Store. And we've also got a product demonstration video over here, which we can use somehow. I'll be referring back to this design from time to time to pull some vital info into our actual mobile first presentation. So. Day's branding centers around this light shade of purple, which we can find in the logo with a nice beige color as a secondary color. Luckily, we can find that in the brand kit over here. So Day's brand colors, purple, that nice pastel purple, black, and this nice beige over here. Their main fonts are League Spartan for headings, Cerebri Bold for subheadings, and then Cerebri for body text. Luckily, our brand kit does have these colors in here and we can refer back to these fonts over here. The brand overall is fun, modern and social and the product revolves around a graphic design app with a great customer service suite. We now have a sound understanding of all the brand elements we're working with. So we can head back to the Canva homepage and begin searching through Canva's library of mobile first presentation templates to find a good fit. So I'm just gonna change windows really quick. Here we are at the Canva homepage and I'm going to search for mobile first presentation and there we go. I'm gonna take some time searching through these templates to find one that really stands out to me as a great fit for this brand. Ooh, I like that one. And I think I might actually go with this one over here just because there's a lot to work with. So we're in our new design. I'm gonna call this day designs mobile pitch. And on the left here, we're presented with all the slides of this template, which we have the option of using. We're gonna choose a few different styles of slides that we'll look to use in our presentations and just keep them in our design to quickly duplicate as we go. So I do like this one over here, but I don't wanna overwrite our current page. So I'm gonna duplicate that, add that in there. And I do quite like this one as well. So far, so good. And I might duplicate that one more time. I might just change this back to the title slide just because I think this could be useful for our outro slide. We're going to limit the total amount of slides we're using. I want to keep this at six succinct slides or less to create a total pitch time of around two minutes. So it's short, snazzy and an elevator pitch in a sense. I'd love to create a bit of a journey with our slides as well and tell a story here. So I've spent a bit of time before I am planning out how this pitch presentation might flow. I'm thinking of doing a title slide up here followed by a slide which might talk about the pain points, which funnily enough we have over here, problem. And another slide which talks about how day solves the problems, which we can probably adapt from this slide as well. And a segue into the product and the app, which as you can see, this, this slide already sort of has that set out. And then our contact details and call to actions for the finale. To me, this introduces our brand, speaks to the potential client's current pain points, solves them, highlights the simplicity and easy uptake of our product, today's product, and then it ends with some contacts and a call to action. I'm gonna set these slides out now, just really quickly. So title slide, happy with that. Problem, potentially here, solution. Maybe another little segue slide over here. Solution. And then I might copy this and just place it in between those two slides for a little bit of a segue again. And this is for our app. And then that's the outro. Love it. Cool. I'm going to quickly change this presentation to contain the brand colors. So I'm going to quickly add that there. I'm going to alternate between the different colors per slide. So maybe go a purple, the beige, purple, beige, and purple, and beige finale. Cool, I'll be in. 
I'm also going to change our fonts now based on the branding. So any Amico text, I want to change to Leaks button. So we're changing that to Leaks button too. Leaks button. And I'm happy with that. I'm also going to change the subheading and body text now. I'm going to do that quickly. Cool. So let's start with our title slide. First up, let's paste our brand logo in. So I'm going to do that by quickly going back to our information deck, ungrouping, and yeah, just pasting that in quickly with Control C and Control V or Command C, Command V. I'm going to quickly resize that, position it in the center, and I'm liking that right now. I'm also going to paste a short one-liner about the brand here. If you're a brand owner, usually you have these brand and product callouts laying around. If you're creating a design like this on behalf of a brand, it doesn't hurt to ask any of the brand representatives for key brand and product callouts like this to use in sales and adverts. They're quite useful. So let's add that in here. Fast, efficient, and creative designers available 24-7. That's the key gist of what data design does. So I think it's important to have that there as a nice little piece of text to set the tone for the rest of the presentation. So next up, we're going to work in our problem slide, which I'm going to quite simply title as pain points, just because I like that naming better than problems. We're going to now refer to some of the text that we had prepared uh, before we built this deck. So this is brand or, or sales stuff that you had lying around or you requested from your client. So over here, I'm just going to quickly write something to frame this slide. So it's some issues marketers face, because usually marketers are the ones who utilize designers. Um, so some of the problems that we identified, that they identified, you need quick designs, last minute design work is hard to source. That is true. Multiple page briefs equal uh, So we're giving this a bit of personality here as well. Briefing can be tedious and tiresome. It can. Briefing designers perhaps. And problem three, it costs. This is true. So as you can see, as we've typed, the design has begun to shift a little. So we want to reposition these. So we're going to do that by just quickly giving these some space. I'm going to lock this white element here so it doesn't shift as we select it. And what we're going to do is we're going to just quickly position and tidy these up vertically. And that way there's now an even gap in between all of these. It's looking much neater. Also, just want to quickly verify that it's all in the center. Yep, that's better. Cool. As a follow up slide to pain points, we're now going to work with solutions. We're going to provide some contrasting points to those in the previous slide. This is for today's product solutions. I'm going to spend some time here adding our text in as well. So, pain points, I might contrast that by saying no more. And the text here says some common issues marketers face. And over here, Maybe consider those pain points alleviated. And what we're going to do is we're going to contrast this point here. You need quick designs, last minute design works out the source. So we're going to contrast that by writing probably a pun like all day, every day. That looks quite good. It's quite witty as well. Plays on the brand name. Get your last minute designs booked with our 24 7 service. So this is in direct contrast to this point over here. Are we going to do something similar to the others? So I'm going to quickly work through these. Streamlined briefing. Submit your briefs based on your preferred communication style. Some people are verbal, some people are very text heavy, some people are visual. So it's good that they has this service or this offering. No surprises, there's an R there, yep. Fixed costs. So that's a pretty cool product guarantee there. 
this is an offer so what I might want to do here is add a little asterisk and copy some of that body text I'm just going to quickly ungroup that and just resize that make it a bit tinier and I'm going to put an asterisk and put terms and conditions apply you can't see that that well for now but here we are I just wanted to be clear that terms and conditions apply to this particular offer down here so always always protect yourself and protect your business by including things like that so much like the previous slide I'm just going to quickly reposition these to give them a bit of breathing room might keep this where it is but I'm going to re align these vertically yep just making sure that's centered as well perfect and now this slide's also looking good from here I'm going to proceed to create a slide which sets up all of our call to actions. I'm going to use this title slide over here and place some text in here. Something like, so how do I get started? Just to sort of read the mind of viewers. And over here a little bit of a descriptor, maybe all roads lead to the Apple App Store. And from here, our viewers know what might be coming next. I'm going to introduce Day's app with its app icon here and maybe a video over here. But first things first, I just want to center this because I'm not exactly sure I like where it's positioned right now. So I'm going to quickly position this white square element in the center and our text in the center as well. And over here, I might ungroup these and erase this just because I don't think we need a heading here. I'm going to head back to our info deck and over here I'm just going to copy our app icon. I'm going to paste it into our design and quickly reposition it. Perfect. And over here I'm going to add a bit of our text. So submit your briefs, join a 24-7 chat with your with your design and view your design deliverables or from a simple interface on our mobile app. Might just move this text a little down so it's not really in the personal space of that app icon up top. <laughs> and I'm going to center that and I'm going to quickly change the text alignment to be centered as well. I like the way that flows now might move this element to the corner just so it doesn't detract away from our text and I might just shift this a few more keys down. So below where the phone graphic is I'm going to quickly swap it out with a phone frame because I don't think this is actually a frame I think it's just an image put over a phone graphic so what I'm going to do is erase those get rid of them and over here I'm going to type in iPhone frame and we've got a phone over here perfect. Let's enlarge that a little bit that's looking good. Can quickly center that. And I'm going to copy our app demonstration video and paste that into this page. And I'm just going to center that just a touch. Let's see how that looks. I like that. Yep. That's what we're after. So I'm really happy with this app page now and it's time to move on to the end of our presentation which is this little outro slide. Quite simply I'm going to title this to learn more. I'm going to add some of Day's information into this. So I'm going to head back up here, put their phone number, put their email and I might make this text a little bit smaller seeing as it's not all fitting on one line so I might just go down I might quickly make sure that's Cerebri actually and I'm going to make that 10 nope too small <laughs> I think I am happy with the biggest size possible for one line yep that's looking good and then over here I might also just quickly add the website which is daydesign.com and that's looking good. I might quickly shift this a little higher. I think there's some space over here we can use to maybe add a download link to our app. Maybe a little spiel about the app again. So I'm going to go to one of our previous slides and just copy and paste one of the pieces of text here. Paste it in. Move that a touch higher. And over here I'm going to title this Download Our App. Now, 
a little bit of a spill. Signing up takes 30 seconds. And I could potentially even add this app link to this text so that if they're viewing this online or via PDF or something, they can just click straight through and it'll take them to the website thereafter. And I might also add that to the icon of the app, which is already done because we copied and pasted this from our previous design. I might also add it here as well, actually. So that if they click any of these two, it'll also take them to the app store. That's a quick little conversion tactic. And now we're all done. Here is our pocket presentation in all of its glory and made easier to create with the simplicity of Canvas pre-made templates. You can whip this out at a coffee with a contact for an informal little pitch, link followers to it in a social ad, adapt these slides for your social media stories or ads, or even attach these as little sweeteners when direct messaging potential clients on platforms like LinkedIn. The applications really are abundant. Did you like this tutorial? If so, please let us know by dropping a like on this video. If you found any of the lessons here useful, we'd also love to hear it in the comments below. And I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Head out.